Hi everyone, congratulations on, on your graduations. I'm not gonna take long, just a few minutes. If you have a watch, just give me, how, how long? Two mi three minutes. I just uh, made a deal with uh, Bichoy, three minutes. Abuna, Abuna, no, Abuna Mark said three, uh, four points, I remember three. He said number one, uh, uh, timing, time. And number two is what? Good. And number three is faithful. I forgot number four. Productive, yes, productive, yes. Uh, as far as time, I, I remember a joke about time. Once somebody was praying to God, he said, God, what's a million dollars to you? He said, it's like one dollar. He said, okay, what's, um, what's a thousand years to you? He said, it's like one minute. He said, can I have one dollar? He said, just wait one minute. <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> Anyway, I have, uh, I have something, I didn't prepare much, uh, ingredients for success, ingredients for success. From the Bible, I just, I looked at a few verses, and some ingredients for success, and Psalm 119, here's the question. Psalm 119 verse 9 says, how can a young man keep his way pure? And then the answer, by living according to your word. So if we live according to God's word, we live pure. Number two ingredient is trust. Trust in the Lord. This is we see it in Proverbs 3, uh, 3 to 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. So we need to have that ingredient. Without trusting God, we feel like we cannot uh, be successful. We need to trust. We see many times uh, we get so worried about taking tests or uh, going to a college or anything, but we don't trust in God. So trust, always trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. Number two ingredient is faith. If there is a trust, it's based on what? Based on faith. And Romans 8.28 says, And we know that God causes everything to work, to work together for, for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. And again in Jeremiah, I love this verse. In Jeremiah 29.11, it says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. I want you to memorize this in Jeremiah 29, 11. And lastly, we need to be a role model. If we have the trust in the Lord, we have faith in God, we need to be a role model. Role models... Do not let anyone think less of, your, of you because you are young. This is a, God's advice to everyone. Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. So we need to have, live by faith. Live by the trust in God. And be a role model. And that's it. I'm done. Did I take three minutes? I can waste some time. For... Did I finish three minutes? <laughs> Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Or as Teta and Giddo and Mami, Mabruk, ya Oulad. Eh? Tisma Mabruk. Tabitulu Ela, Maulukum Mabruk. Shokran, la. Aubela Ouladak, la. What is the answer? Ayo, Keda. Ayo, Mabruk, Allah, Barak, Fi. Congratulations.